Greetings to Bilans and to Belaters. Yo, pal Cutworm coming to you. Oh, right here you can see where they jerked this open and they put that plate in there. See how they did the bones and stuff? Wow, ain't that neat. Anyway, this is going to be kind of a surprise meal called uh, show and tell. And uh, Hope you, hopefully you'll like it. I got this in the mail from my new good friend, Mr. Petrie. I didn't know it was a mail call, so I already jerked it open. But this is a wonderful man. He's out in VT, Vermont, or somewhere else. But oddly enough, he's in Dorset, Vermont. Vermont and one of our good friends Scott Vest is in Dorset England and uh, this young man sent me some cool stuff let's peruse it hey we got backwards this looks like TV that's what I'm seeing in the in the thing it but it's actually VT to you but TV is pretty cool. I didn't see that before. Usually I see things upside down and backwards anyway, but I didn't see that. Sent me a nice letter. And that from VT. Beautiful letter here. Didn't send me any you know, laundry bills like I usually get from you folks. And also got this very nice Sports Car Club of America. Don't you wish you had one? Nah, nah. This is going on my sports car. That's really good. And the VT will go probably in here so I can see it every morning with all my rest of my family on my little thingy. And uh, I opened that magically with uh, uh, my buddy in England, Harry Faber was showing some German knives, kindly German knives. He didn't really know. I don't know. And I actually have a German knife. I don't even know. It's one of these. It's a canoe knife. Not canoe. It's kind of old, but it's made like a canoe. And I uh, don't know if you can see that or not. Really hard to see things in this cave I've got. But anyway, it says... Uh, Wolstenholme, W-O-S-T-E-N-H-O-L-M, and I couldn't spell that out, out on purpose, but I had to read it to spell it, and somebody really gooped this knife up. They, when they sharpened it, they just scratched it all to pieces. Can't see that yet. Anyway, they scratched it all to pieces up. Uh, trying to sharpen it. it looks like some kids done it and when I sharpen a knife you can't tell it except on the very edge of the blade and they just scratch this thing all to pieces but I love it and I've had it for years it's not the knife I carry I carry the one that Michael excuse me Michael McCoy gave me or, or loaned me I carry that one every day and the show and tell part oh remember Santana can you see that I've been watching uh, music videos all morning, which is a good thing to do. And uh, anyway, I'm all hyped up. But show and tell part is everybody's got. I watched uh, R. Peak. He's got a little little bo window box thing on the, in his wall that he keeps some of his trinkets and stuff. And uh, I've got trinkets everywhere. And uh, if I had one of them boxes, it would be, it would have stuff. But here are some of the stuff that I have collected. This is a Waltham, Waltham gold filled, gold plated, gold whatever watch. I used to wear this one when I had my bill overhauls going. You're into my power. Yeah, you're all a chicken. I'd cure him, but we need eggs. Anyway, that thing runs good. 
And then I got what they call down here biscuit watches, which is a larger size. These are big rascals. You can actually kill a vampire with these. Ah! Did you see time fly? They scared sure the gene out of the bed. This is, this is, uh, see the dials on the side? I used to know all about this stuff. By Sir the Jane, she kicks the door open and she's gone. But some watches are like this. Here's another biscuit watch. This one's got the Roman numerals up and down like that. And then some of them is like this. This is actually an Elgin stem wind. Elgin watch things of America or somewhere and you wolf them apart I see I'm wolfing them it apart oh don't do this by the way thank you and put that there and right here there's a stem that you kick out. Can you see that little stem? You kick it out like that and it jerks this in gear so you can set it. Oop, sorry. And then you woof it back in and then the thing will wind. Ain't that lovely, don't that nice? I'm getting this back on this. It was easy when my hands had feelings in them because they are kind of precisely done. Well, I'll do this later. And this one is a stem winder too. You got to take it apart to wind to uh, set it. But once you set it, they keep it going like a Timex or better than a Timex. You see, this one's got the stem that you hook it with your and it whoops out there see this I don't know if you can see the stem or not. but then you whoop it back in and you can do all sorts of that. this one here's got a thumb thing that you can sorry tip it out and it falls on the ground too don't do this to your watches, by the way. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, or six. I don't know how many jewels is in it. Made in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, rah, rah. Hampton Watch Company. I don't know if you can see all that stuff, wonderfulness or not. Come on, Larry. Anyway, they're all tuned up before you br drop them and stuff. And uh, they got real cool stuff in them. And, and every time the little rascal is, they uh, work on these things, there's real minuscule scratchings and things and dates inside the cases of the jewelers that, that has worked on them. So that's part of the history of it. They they woof in there and uh, they put their names and the dates and what's been done and all of their girlfriend's phone number. I don't know what all they put in there. But anyway, you whoop this together like you set the watch back in the case and you just hope that everything fits in there good. This is probably, hopefully this is the last time I take these dudes apart because I'm thinking about doing away with them. Taking them to the, to the watch place and sending them on because I've played with them and I've had fun and I've carried them and I've dropped them and stuff. Let somebody else have them. Wherever the gold watch went, gold's pretty high. Here's an old Bulova. It's probably a 50 cent watch back in the day. 
And in in the old days, if you wanted to buy a watch, you went to the railroad station because that's where they sold them. There's a story behind that, if I'm not wrong. But anyway, this one's worth more, I think, for the gold in it than for the watch. But the watch is really old. And what they do is they take the gold case away and then they throw the old watch in the garbage or somewhere. And I would hate to have this this rascal done that way. I don't know if you can see the goodies in it. It is beautiful. And they throw this junk away. That's not junk, but this stuff. And, you know, I hate to see stuff like that thrown away because somebody made it and they made it with precision. And probably the fella that made it or the lady that made it is, is up in heaven going, dang, I hope he don't throw that, take that to the gold people because they're just going to throw my work away. So, anywho there ever, that's the show and tell of the watches today. And the mail call. And uh, my legs hadn't been working real good, which is, they're not supposed to work at all, but they work. So I've been staying at home in this 115 degree weather. And I've been playing with gun stocks. I told Matthew from Buck's Woodshop what I was up to. And uh, this is a laminated stock for AK-47 or AK-74 or whatever. Which, uh, the prettiness of me, of the guns I like, is the wood and the metal. Not so much the bang and pow, but making them... You know, looking at the history of them, somebody made this thing, and they made all these nicks and things in it. So I, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. This is not a very good place to make a video. And the dead burn air conditioner is probably knocking out all the, knocking out all the beat, all the talking. So anyway, uh, I stain this with red. Uh, the red uh, writ dye that you would make your clothes red or a tie-dyed shirt or whatever. I stained it and then I scraped it all off with some sandpaper and then I cleared it. So then I done a laminated stock hunting rifle. I don't know. I done this one that way and I put some silly stuff on it make it shine and make it pretty and it's gonna go back on the on a gun maybe someday or I might just use it like this who knows it's too pretty to shoot but I got this all done and stained up and about 30 layers of uh, of clear on it and Marianne came in and she says oh that's a cute little pink gun so I don't know. It's not supposed to be pink, but I guess it is. I'm thinking I should have just put some green. Anyway, it's all right like it is. But that's what I do when I can't do. Got to get something going. And I brought home the rest of my uh, wheels for Harold. And I've been working on them a little bit. Scratching around on them with a pocket knife and stuff. So I am going to idle, but at least I'm moving moving around some. And uh, I think that's show and tell for today, uh, boys and girls. Uh, there's tons of other stuff that I can show you, but it's not as interesting as as what I've already shown you. Oh, 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 oh. Let me let me get your uh, opinion on something. Uh, I've got some Jeep videos, and I've been trying to figure out how to get them from my VHS thingies on to my computer thingies. And you all know I'm just about as worthless at uh, 
computer things and editing and changing things over is is uh, well I'm pretty ba pretty darn bad but anyway let me show you a smell of some of the stuff that I would like to show and it I might could just show it on the TV and then film it it it, it might be kind of country but uh, if it works it works and y'all get to see an idiot this is uh, a little snippet of some mud wrestling mud wrestling <laughs> some jeep racing mud racing that i did and there's some trail riding that i could show flipping jeeps over and being killed uh -oh. who is that in that big black jeep I don't know who that is in that big black Jeep. He sure looks skinny and he's got black hair and he has a head full of black hair. In a Jeep and he's been mudded and There he goes. But anyway, I got tons of that stuff. So, uh, let me know what you think. I can do that. Uh, get to see Jeeps turned over and uh, heads dismembered and all sorts of creatures, great and small from our jeeping adventures 30 years ago now. Uh, I can do it that way or I can figure out, or y'all can help me figure out how to do, put it on the computer and I can be, it might be better. But anyway, I wanna say that I love y'all and y'all take care. And I'm watching your videos just as quick as I can and I'm trying to comment on them. But the way I have this internet stuff i have to buy it by the gigabytes and when i run out of the gigabytes uh i'm done i can't do that stuff anymore they sequester me or whatever so uh, i have to be really precise and careful so uh, i don't mind it's not as bad when i upload because i can do that at three o'clock in the morning and then then it's not so bad, but they, they, uh, not sequester, but they, they pinch me back on, on my gigabytes where it just barely crawls. And I can't really watch stuff. So uh, I'm doing the best I can with what I got, which is what I usually do. So I love y'all and y'all have fun and let me know what you think about this stuff. Thank you. Bye.